Hey everyone, this is Matt from Games Radar, and I'm here with Leon Hurley. Hello. And today we are going to talk about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, Leon, you've played it at a review event. You've got yep. a pretty good handle on uh, what it's like. Uh, how is it? It's it's good. I mean, COD is always consistently kind of good. Last year's one was the only one I've... The first COD I've never finished because I found the HUD stuff quite messy and the Inception-style brain-hopping thing just was just didn't work for me. This year it's much more grounded. Um, if Even though it's in space. Yeah, it's, it's an odd choice of words, but no, it's a very kind of like earthy, very sort of, um, the kind of space it's portraying is very kind of functional, like these battleships are like massive submarines in, in space, you know, it's lots of metal, lots of big doors, it's very kind of practical, sort of pragmatic almost kind of warfare, obviously you're in a ship and you're blasting around the, the, the solar system, like with warp drives and stuff, but the actual... It's quite dour almost, like it's very sort of, everyone's kind of very aware of the weight of their decisions and like death is not like sort of heroic. Um, but yeah, so you blast around space, you, you're invaded by the SDF, which are like the kind of the colonists who have settled around the, the solar system. They've had enough, they decided they should be in charge. They've invaded Earth, flattened Earth's fleet like almost entirely apart from two ships who then mount a kind of almost like a last ditch delaying counterattack to try and give Earth time to, to rebuild its forces. It's very, if you've seen the, the rebooted Battlestar Galactica, it's very much like that. It's like you're like the Battlestar that's left. And you hop around these planets um, trying to hamper the SDF and try and mount a kind of a counterattack. There's, uh, there's like an open sort of, not an open world, but you have a map that has the core missions on it, but then there are also these sort of side missions and they're, they're really good. They're like, it's not as I thought it was initially going to be sort of busy work, you know, go and, go and kill a guy, come back. There's there's some quite imaginative side missions that are worthy kind of of main mission stuff. So one of the missions I had to disguise myself as an enemy soldier, sneak on board a ship and pump all the air out of a meeting room where the, the generals were having a meeting and kill them and then get out. Um, there's a lovely mission where you chase after a, a battle cruiser thing and it makes a run for it, but it's over like um, Jupiter, I think, atmosphere. So you're sort of racing after it. And clouds sort of flying past uh, and those are just the sort of the side missions so you can sort of pick and choose what you want it's a very non-linear kind of game the main missions are always just these big yellow blotches on the on the map so you could just go straight through those and finish it super quick but yeah it's like it's got a lot of nice variety um the combat is is cod combat that doesn't really change but it does introduce jackal missions this time so you have these fighter ships that you have these big space dog fights in and sometimes on planets they, uh, it works really well. They, they, they do fly around, but they also have a sort of a hover mode, so they're quite um, almost FPS kind of controls and a really nice, powerful lock-on, so you sort of almost just focus on flying around and looking cool and, and just firing your anti, anti-missile missiles and <laughs> shooting things out of the sky. Uh, so yeah, like, it adds a nice kind of change to the, the momentum, and it also links things together, so often you'll use a jackal to fly somewhere, do a mission and fly back and fly back to your ship and the ship as a base is quite a nice sort of grounding thing you constantly keep going back to the same people and so you sort of feel like it's a like, almost like a home element to it mm -hmm. so i mean going back to what you were saying before uh, about the story and you were kind of explaining this kind of grand sort of mm. like space opera thing i think like everyone's favorite call of duty game is probably modern warfare which had a really kind of like understandable clean storyline with a few twists here and there yeah. that you kind of understood what was going on do you get the same sense of that with this because it, it, it's like from trailers and stuff it's kind of a little bit opaque to find out what's going on yeah well i mean so yeah the story is is very basic like the, the SDF appear they wipe out like uh, all of Earth's defences they hijack they got these big anti-air gun things and they hijack those and blow all of the ships out for some reason Earth has decided to have a like a big parade so it's put all its ships into one big parade and then they turn these guns on and it just blows everything up and it's you and one other ship who basically you can't really sort of win the war you're just trying to kind of slow them down right. to give Earth time to um, recoup and but you felt like you were emotionally invested in it yeah, like it's the characters are really nice. Like they're really kind of um, very, very sort of ordinary. It's really good as well. Like um, it's a really good mix of like the sort of uh, men and women, and, and like your your right hand man is a woman called Salt, and I think they're just called Salt. Um, and it doesn't really make any sort of big fuss about sort of who people are. They just get their jobs done. And there's like people in the hangar doing like hangar stuff, and <laughs> it's like a quartermaster who gives you guns. And you, because you keep going back to the ship each time, you sort of get to know them, and that plays out later on because it's quite sort of bleak in terms of 
war having a cost and, and there's one of the characters there, Claudia Black plays a character who was a captain but resigned and took a lower rank commission because she didn't like having to send people to her de their deaths and she didn't want to take that responsibility. So it plays a lot with that kind of idea of, of you know, this, the decisions you make in war have a cost. So the single player itself sounds like quite a sort of deep, nourishing experience. It's fair to say you, you, you enjoyed it quite a lot? Yeah, I did. I did enjoy it. Like, it was weird. Like, we did it at a review event. They're always quite strange, so it all went past in a bit of a blur. Um, so I don't really sort of remember, like, massive peaks or troughs. It was just one consistently pleasing, shooty space noise. Uh, and it does have some lovely moments. It's like, you know, you're blasting through the atmosphere in your ship and you're like, holy crap, that's incredible. And, you know, chasing after these battle cruisers. Uh, as I said, the combat is, is COD combat. Like, that, that hasn't really changed at all. On that note, and obviously this is probably the most important thing to a lot of people that play COD, um, multiplayer and zombies, yeah. how do they hold up? Uh, multiplayer is is good, as usual. I, uh, I don't want to sort of say too much about it because obviously they will... Um, patch it and tweak it to hell and back over the next year or so but it's built around rigs so you have these six archetype characters who all basically have kind of like a special weapon that charges over time and charges with kills um it weirdly almost kind of reminded me a bit of destiny like you know you have this character that has this super that charges and it'll be like a big gun or a certain special kind of gun they've also introduced missions now which are these kind of like bounties so it will be like get five kills with an assault rifle get five kills with your um, secondary weapon. Those I kind of they kind of irritated me a bit because if we go get get five kills with your spe your secondary weapon. Okay, fine. Get five kills. Get ten kills with your secondary weapon. Get fifteen. And like you're just making me do like the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. But the actual mode player itself is good. The the classes feel quite streamlined and quite easy to access. The maps are nice, very clear flashpoints and sort of clashing zones on it. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of. Again, it's COD, it, it, it works. Zombies, I really enjoyed this year. So that's set in an 80s theme park. Amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. You've got <laughs> David Hasselhoff doing the, the, the decks. Pee Wee Herman plays like a kind of a Vic, Vincent Price kind of movie maker who's sucked you into this zombie world. And it's just really good fun. You open up the theme park, you explore, you have to sort of uncover these sort of different levels of interactions. Um, and it's just really, really good fun, really enjoyable um, probably my favourite thing out of the whole thing. Like we, we would have played it all the time if Activision hadn't turned around and said we're doing multiplayer now. Okay. Um, and one final thing to talk about before we go. Uh, PS4 Pro. Like, how was it? Is, the, is there a noticeable difference? Is, there, this, is this a good showcase of what it can do? It's it's weird. Like when I went down, sat down, and played it, I kind of was like, Man, would I have noticed a difference? They hadn't told me. But then it shows a cutscene, and the cutscenes obviously haven't been rendered in, um, haven't been made for PS Pro. They're obviously made before. PS Pro and you suddenly go back to the cutscenes and they're really soft and, and grey and you can suddenly go like okay that, that there is a difference it's a very pretty game anyway like uh, even playing it last night uh, at home it's it is one of the nicest looking CODs in a long time the uh, the Pro obviously it's, it's sharper looking um, better sort of blacks the whole HDR thing but it is sort of the still game, still the same game. Like I know, at one point, there's a bit where a ship crashes into the water and water splashes up. And if you look down at the ground, you can see that the water is that kind of like flat sheets mm -hmm. of texture that, if you get at the right angle, you can see them all lining up like kind of flat pack. So it does look prettier, it does look nicer, but it is basically the same game, kind of just turned up a bit. Cool. So I'm gonna push you to a score <laughs> overall. Um, four. I think it's it is a really good package. The main game is great fun the multiplayer is good zombies is excellent if you get the the right bundle then obviously you've got modern warfare um remastered as well and that's that's excellent that's that's incredibly well remade and and plays beautifully and there's also the vr stuff uh, there's, a, there's a free vr mission coming with it as well so as an overall package it's it's a really strong um presentation fantastic there you have it four stars out of five you can read the full review on site and please remember to subscribe to games radar for more news reviews features and previews I'll take it!